please don't make the mistake of wasting money on body composition scales. They are wildly inaccurate and can't even reliably tell progress over time. This caused a huge fight in my fitness group yesterday, and now I'm annoyed, so everyone is just going to have to deal with it. Now, this isn't a five-second explanation, but I promise you, if you watch until the end, I will save you thousands of dollars and the ridicule of your friends. These scales use bioelectrical impedance, which works by running an electrical current through your body. A variety of different issues prevent this from giving accurate body composition. An electrical current will follow the path of least resistance, which means if you have significant body fat, the current will avoid it and will instead pass through internal tissues. It is massively affected by hydration status of fat-free mass. Hydration both shows up as fat-free mass and conducts the current more easily. BIA can't differentiate between fluid inside your cells and outside of your cells. Many BIA devices will miss entire sections of your body. If the current passes from one leg to another or one arm to another, you can have information lost from the entire rest of the body. And since it typically compares to hydrostatic weighing rather than a gold standard for a compartment model, it ends up being a guesstimate of a guesstimate. It isn't directly assessing body fat or fat-free mass. It's guessing what the guess of hydrostatic weighing would be. When I explained this, I was met with a response that I post shit to your memes, which I find both irrelevant and objectively false. My memes are excellent. These errors are why BIA has been shown to be the worst measurement technique possible with an error of up to 8% in both directions. You might be 20% body fat in reality, but it could say you're 28 or even 12. And unfortunately, research has found you can't use these scales to measure progress either since the error varies each time. We also see higher errors in athletes, the obese, the elderly, those with significant muscle mass, or in clinical states where water and electrolyte shifts are common. After taking the time to lay all of this out, I received the genius response that I must be new to the internet. So by the rules of the internet, I suppose I automatically lost.